what it do YouTube my name is Bear Witness welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're gonna be talking about Anthem now quickly before we get into all that guys make sure that if you guys are new to the channel you guys check out some of my other content as well as if you enjoy the content make sure that you guys click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my videos but with all that being said guys we're gonna talk about Anthem now real quickly we're going to go through the reasons why i haven't been playing anthem as much and then we're going to go into the patch notes and we're going to go into some of the cool stuff that they've already or that they added this uh patch and things like that now i kind of stopped playing the game based on um you know m probably the same reason that a lot of you people that haven't or have been watching this video or check this video out have you know whether it be lack of content or uh, wasted time with not a lot of loot um, you know, I know that they said that they buffed the loot back in the day, but without uh, content, I didn't really feel like doing the same stuff over and over again. So, you know, this time they've added a new stronghold, and we'll get into that a little bit more in just a little bit. But they've also added a ton of new features. Now, they added a lot of buffs all around the board. You know, I didn't, I actually looked into the patch notes, I didn't see anything negative. Like, I don't think they took anything down. They just made you more powerful. So, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's going to be very fun to be playing with. I played a little bit myself, and I've actually, I actually had fun. I'm not even going to lie. I actually, like, no lie, decided that I was going to hop on and I was going to be completely unbiased towards what I played before, and I was just going to play the new content and see if I enjoyed it. And uh, the new content definitely makes it seem like they uh, have a nice mindset, like they, they know where they want to go with it, but executing it is kind of the problem. So it kind of seems like this company is in its own way when it comes to making this game what it needs to be to be successful, if it can even be successful at this point. But right here, I'll show you guys uh, some of the new features. They added the Sunken Shell Stronghold, which is what I was talking about earlier, guys, which you guys will see gameplay on that throughout this whole video. You guys will see, you know, the different things that you're able to do inside of it. There's been, there's quite a few puzzles and things like that, and the loot table is insane. I know I got a legendary off of, like, one of the first, uh, like, big areas that we fought in, and then I was able to pretty much consistently get some masterworks. I had some purples in there. I still don't know why after you're playing a, after you're playing a certain Grandmaster, they just doesn't all drop masterwork but you know that's that's neither here nor there but they also add the ability to select contracts from the start of expedition screen rather than going to the individual contract boards in fort tarsus so now you don't even have to go uh you guys can do that from the expedition start screen uh in instead of going all the way back to fort tarsus and having to walk to each and every contract so that's something that also cuts down the time that you feel you're wasting like that's what i'm saying when it comes to a lot of these games wasted time is kind of not what they want so if they can minimize the amount of loading screens and things like that, that they can then that's a that's a big up in itself they also added, added the ability to launch a new mission from the end of the expedition screen without having to return to Fort Tarsus. So you don't have to just do this with contracts or anything like that. You're able to immediately launch a new mission, which, like I said, kind of one of the biggest gripes that people had. Also, the loading screens uh, that, that were there in general. But these are big, big steps. Uh, you can also access the forge during missions, strongholds, and freely play. So you're never without your loot. I think that one of the worst things is when you have an rpg and you have all of these items and you have like a lot of cool items but none of them like you, not everything works for the same thing so you know you want to change up your loot a little bit before you get into that boss fight and things like that or you want to experiment with this weapon and then you don't like it so you want to change out you know having to be stuck with a weapon the whole mission the whole time you're doing something is definitely one of the more frustrating things about rpgs uh, when they have them, but most RPGs have come accustomed to, you know, I have, you know, you, you're, you have access to all of your loot throughout the game. So for this game to not have that, you know, uh, it was it was weird, but I'm glad that they added that now and they added a lot of what I would like to call quality of life changes You know, it doesn't seem like a lot But when you're actually in the game, you're actually playing and things like that It, it, it becomes a lot a lot more noticeable how m much it's changed the game for the better You know, so I'm glad they're making positive changes and things like that now Like I said earlier, there's quite a few puzzles in sunken cell. I've had a lot of fun playing with it um you know it, it's it's definitely its own experience and what i'm glad to see with that is i'm glad to see that the idea behind you know creative different missions and strongholds and like that are a lot more 
um, apparent to them at the current moment. Now, when I was playing the campaign, you know, a lot of the missions seemed like they were, you know, grab these items, place them here, you know, stand here, you know, and it was a very simple objectives. And now I can see that they actually are trying to be more creative, trying to bring us different content and things like that. Like I said, guys, I will pull up a list right here of all the masterworks and stuff that got uh, balanced or got buffed. You know, like I said, I haven't seen any negatives to anything on this list. So I'm glad that they're working on things like that. And I'm glad that this game is going to at least try you know one of the biggest things that i was worried about is that this game would end up like mass effect andromeda where they kind of got a really bad rap and they kind of just gave up on it and now i can see that they're actually trying now the biggest problem i see for them in the near future is that you know did this come a little too late did this come at the point where all of your community was gone you know you're seeing more and more people leave the community and more in the community getting smaller based on like i said earlier you know lack of content is going to get to anybody no matter what so they really need to pull out some new stops you know and maybe not go on their roadmap i know what they wanted to release but i think that it's an easier idea to just try to get out some new content try to get out some new ar armor things to make people look cool things that make it worthwhile for you to be playing and then you can actually have a chance at still becoming a very successful game now is it too late that's only time will tell because at the current moment i i don't know I don't want to jinx it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys, if you guys haven't, this kind of persuaded you guys to at least check it out, you know, see if you guys enjoy the new content and a lot of the quality of life changes that they've made. And uh, I hope you guys also have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.